Chapter 8 Human Environment Interactions Introduction Renuka was excited. Shrikant uncle was home after a gap of nearly four months. He was a wildlife photographer and travelled widely. Renuka's interest in wildlife and forests began at an early age when her uncle introduced her to books on nature. Pictures of distant lands and people who lived there always fascinated her. In these pictures, Renuka, you can see people from different parts of the world. Some from dry deserts, some from frozen lands, and some from hot, wet rainforests. They look so different from me, observed Renuka. They may look different, but they share the same basic needs of life. Food, clothing, and shelter, explained Shrikant uncle. These children do the same things as you probably do. Play games, quarrel sometimes, and then make up, sing, dance, and help the families with various things that need to be done. They live closer to nature and very early in their lives have learned to care for nature. They learn how to catch fish and how to collect material from the forests. In chapters 8, 9 and 10, you will learn about the life of people in the different natural regions of the world. Life in the Amazon Basin Before learning about the Amazon Basin, let us look at the map. Notice that the tropical region lies very close to the equator between 10 degrees north and 10 degrees south. So it is referred to as the equatorial region. The river Amazon flows through this region. Notice how it flows from the mountains to the west and reaches the Atlantic Ocean to the east. The place where a river flows into another body of water is called the river's mouth. Numerous tributaries join the Amazon River to form the Amazon Basin. The river basin drains portions of Brazil, parts of Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia and small parts of Venezuela. Name the countries of the basin through which the equator passes. Do you know? When Spanish explorers discovered the Amazon River, they were attacked by a group of local tribes wearing headgears and grass skirts. These people reminded them of the fierce tribes of women warriors known in ancient Roman Empire as the Amazons. Hence the name Amazon. Glossary Tributaries are small rivers that join the main river. The main river along with all its tributaries that drain an area forms a river basin or the catchment area. The Amazon basin is the largest river basin in the world. Climate As you now know, the Amazon basin stretches directly on the equator and is characterized by hot and wet climate throughout the year. Both day and nights are almost equally hot and humid. The skin feels sticky. It rains almost every day, that too without much warning. The day temperatures are high with very high humidity. At night, the temperature goes down but the humidity remains high. Rainforest As it rains heavily in this region, thick forests grow. The forests are in fact so thick that the dense roof created by leaves and branches do not allow the sunlight to reach the ground.
The ground remains dark and damp. Only shade-tolerant vegetation may grow here. Orchids, bromeliads, grow as plant parasites. The rainforest is rich in fauna. Birds such as toucans, hummingbirds, bird of paradise, with their brilliantly colored plumage, oversized bills of eating, make them different from birds we commonly see in India. These birds also make loud sounds in the forest. Animals like monkey, sloths and ant-eating tapirs are found here. Various species of reptiles and snakes also thrive in these jungles. Crocodiles, snakes, pythons abound. Anaconda and boa constrictor are some of the species. Besides, the basin is home to thousands of species of insects. Several species of fishes, including the flesh-eating piranha fish, is also found in the river. This basin is thus extraordinarily rich in the variety of life found here. Do you know? Bromeliads are special plants that store water in their leaves. Animals like frogs use these pockets of water for laying their eggs. People of the Rainforest People grow most of their food in small areas after clearing some trees in the forest. While men hunt and fish along the rivers, women take care of the crops. They mainly grow tapioca, pineapple and sweet potato. As hunting and fishing are uncertain, it is the women who keep their families alive by feeding them the vegetables they grow. They practice slash and burn agriculture. The staple food is manioc, also known as cassava, that grows under the ground like the potato. They also eat queen's ants and egg sacs. Cash crops like coffee, maize and cocoa are also grown. The rainforests provide a lot of wood for the houses. Some families live in thatched houses shaped like beehives. There are other large apartment-like houses called Meloka with a steeply slanting roof. Life of the People Life of the people of the Amazon basin is slowly changing. In the older days, the heart of the forest could be reached only by navigating the river. In 1970, the Trans-Amazon Highway made all parts of the rainforest accessible. Aircrafts and helicopters are also used for reaching various places. The indigenous population was pushed out from the area and forced to settle in new areas where they continued to practice their distinctive way of farming. The developmental activities are leading to the gradual destruction of the biologically diverse rainforest. It is estimated that a large area of the rainforest has been disappearing annually in the Amazon basin. You can see that this destruction of forest has a much wider implication. The topsoil is washed away as the rains fall and the lush forest turns into a barren landscape. Do you know? Slash and burn is a way of cultivating land where farmers clear a piece of land by slashing or cutting down trees and bushes. These are then burnt, which releases the nutrients into the soil. Now crops are grown in this cleared field for a few years. After repeatedly using the patch of land, the soil loses its nutrients. So it is abandoned. Then they clear another plot of land to plant. In the meantime, young trees grow in the old field. In this way, soil fertility 
is restored. People can then return to it and start cultivating it again. Subscribe to my channel. Click on bell icon to get notification about new videos.